Hello guys, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today it's actually quick tip tutorial because uh, lately I haven't uploaded any quick tip tutorials so I think it's proper time to do this and um, soon probably soon I will probably upload a few more quick tip tutorials so I think you're gonna enjoy and uh, today I would like to talk about curves but at first I'd like to tell you um, that uh, about that image and as you know I I started to work with uh, Pond5 and I've got that image from Pond5 websites completely for free from my landing page if you haven't seen my landing page uh, check uh, check the description uh, to find my landing page you could get that image for free as well as 50 other uh, files not only images but um, music videos uh, and uh, After Effects projects and so alright I don't want to talk too much so let's start uh, our tutorial about curves our quick tip tutorial about curves uh, probably the most powerful tool in Photoshop uh, since the beginning so click the small icon on the bottom and then click curves uh, there you go here's our histogram uh, so what uh, histogram uh, says us is we have a uh, much more uh, dark pixels on that image that uh, highlights pixels that are light uh, uh, pixels as you see it's that uh, cur uh, curves histogram uh, there you go at that point it's our darkest part of the image and that point is our lightest part of the image so as you see we have much more dark pixels on the image than uh, light uh, pixels. So let, let me show you an example. If you drag it up, our dark uh, parts are going to be lighter, brighter. And if we, we drag it down, our dark parts are going to be darker. And the same with, uh, of course, the same with highlights. As you see, if I drag it down, our highlights is going to be a bit darker. If I drag it up in the left, in this side, our highlights are going to be much more brighter. It doesn't look well, of course, because it's a bit distractive. So uh, that's only an example. As you see, if we drag that area up, everything is going to be lighter. But we have to be careful because we might lose some uh, contrast, of course. Uh, so uh, we have to be careful with curves because uh, we don't want to lose um, our quality of image or our contrast. So what I'm gonna do in RGB mode is uh, I would like to bright uh, that dark part because I think it, it is really a bit too darker, not too much but just a bit. So in the shadow area let me drag it up just a bit. But as you see, my uh, highlights area going to be brighter. Uh, went bright, went too bright, so I have to drag it down just a bit on the highlights area. Like this, it looks alright for me. So uh, let's change our mode for the color red. Actually, it's a sunrise or actually sunset image, so. It would be nice to add some uh, red color to that image to increase our sunset, to increase that uh, uh, fancy sunny effect. I think I drag it up here on the highlights um, area and drag it down a bit on the dark, uh, dark area. I'm not sure if it's not too much. I think uh, like this it looks uh, kind of okay. I'm not sure about the uh, color green to be honest because uh, we don't have uh, too much green color. Maybe we could um, drag it up but just a bit on the, uh, on the bottom. Uh, but as I said just a bit not too much. And let's try with uh, our color blue. It's actually cross processing. Uh, I've done a similar tutorial to this. Uh, like a year before, but it wasn't too good, so this tutorial is uh, much more better. Uh, and about color blue, 
what I want to do, let's drag it up. As you see, we get a lot of blue color and it doesn't look nice. Actually, it looks nice because it looks kind of vintage color. But I I need to, I have to add some yellowish color because uh, the sunset. So, as I said, at, uh, as I did uh, at first, drag it up on the blue area if you want to get the same kind of effect as I do. And because of course uh, maybe you want to some uh, kind of different effect just work with curves with your uh, basic knowledge uh, I gave you and now I click here and drag it down just here on the highlights area uh, to get some yellow color and for me it looks really impressive take a look how it looks maybe we lost some contrast from that image but of course, it's a um, simple way to get some contrast. Uh, again, select curves, click here on the shadow area, on the dark area, drag it down, but just a bit, and then click on the highlights area and drag it up just a bit as well. And take a look. It adds some uh, contrast to our image. Uh, so I think it looks really much better. Take a look how our image uh, looked before editing. Uh, it was a really nice image, but without that fancy color, without that fancy cross process. So take a look how it looks now. For me, it's really much better. We get that uh, bit vintage effect, a um, bit uh, romantic effect. So it's really nice. I hope you get the basic knowledge how to use curves, how to cross process your image. If you have any question or any opinion, just leave a comment uh, in comment area below. Uh, check my landing page where you can get uh, that uh, image completely for free. Soon uh, more tutorials, probably on Thursday, next quick tip tutorial and next week probably manipulation tutorials. So, so subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet uh, and check out my other videos. Hope you're gonna enjoy, hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.